Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing session. We'll be covering the feature of document profiles within Sage Trend Evolution. Now document profiles allows you to create a certain range of documents and link them to specific agent or groups of agents. Let's see exactly how that works. So what I have here is just an agent that I've created and I've just got some basic details on the agent etc. And the next step is going to be going to create a range of document profiles for this agent. So I'm going to go to administration, document profiles, and at this point I can now go create my range of document profiles. Add, and I'm going to go create a range of document profiles specifically for that agent. So I'm going to create some invoices. So just say, for example, give it a code. And I'm going to say, right. Under document type, I can create a range of different document types, for example, invoices, credit notes, GRVs, RTSs, sales orders, purchase orders, and documents from the point of sale module. So I'm going to say it's an invoice, and if necessary, I can use a document subtype if required. And then we have the document numbering sequence where I can implement an automatic numbering option or not. And at this point, I can insert a prefix, which will make it easier to identify the particular document and the user process this particular document. So I'm going to say, for example, and I can then specify this automatic number and also the paired number of characters. So I'm going to say five characters. And I need to specify a transaction code. So I'm going to use the INV transaction code. And I can also specify a certain print layout, a print foreign layout, and an email layout when emailing documents. So I can say that when printing, when this user prints on this particular document profile, I'm going to use that particular layout or foreign layout. I can specify my options. And then when emailing a layout, I can certainly make use of a different layout there, et cetera. And I can specify a default processing method and details about text per document. Now, what you'll notice is that there's an agents option on the left-hand side. So at this point, once I've created my document profile, I can now go link the profile to a specific agent. Right, so I can specify an agent and I'll just save the record. And then there, I can simply go specify the agent and link them to that document profile. Agents, there we go. The profile is marked as active. And if necessary, I can obviously remove the agent for whatever reason, etc. So I'm going to say OK there. And at the same time, I'm going to go create another range of document profiles, in this case for goods received vouchers. So add for the same user. And I'm now going to specify the GRV document and specify my numbering sequence. I'm going to say and I'm now going to specify my transaction code, GRVs, and details about the print layout and the email layout. Right, so at this point, I'm going to just save the layout and not link it to the agent. Right, okay. And I can then go to administration, agents, locate the agent, 
And when I edit the agent, you'll notice is that there's a document profiles option where at this point I can now also go and simply select my GRV layout, my GRV profile, select it, and we're good to go. So at this point, this agent has now been linked to two document profiles, being the GRV and the invoicing. So you notice is that we can do it in two separate ways. We can go on the agent profile itself, and at that point, go link the document profile, or when creating a document profile, we're then able to go and link the profile to the agent at that same point. Okay, so we've got the linking done to the agent, and now we're going to process a transaction and see exactly the outcome. So I'm going to, I've logged in as the user, and I'm going to go through to inventory, transactions, and I'm going to go process a goods received voucher. Okay, the document opens and what you'll notice is I then have the details, the agent's name together with the sequencing and the first number in my sequence. And then on the GRV number side, I've also got details there of the, the document profile. So I'm going to specify the supplier and and I'm simply going to go process or receive the stock. I've got my GRV number linked to my profile. Receive the stock. And if I print the GRV, you'll be able to see that we now have our document number there, which is based on our document profile and very easy to determine exactly which user or agent has processed that particular document simply because they're linked to the document profile range. Right, so GRV has been processed and I can now, if I go now and process an invoice, same principle applies. I've now got the invoice numbering sequence on my document profile and also the invoice number appears there. So it's a case of specifying my item to be invoiced. And process. On the layout, I then have my document number easy to identify which agent process that particular document based on my document profile range. So as you can see, document profiles allow you to customize and be very specific about which document profiles can link to agents, details about the printing layout and emailing layout. So as you can see, very useful feature, specifically if you want to maybe sort of differentiate between agents, the type of documents that can process, and the specifically allocating a range of document profiles to specific agents. I do hope this feature has been useful. Thank you for watching. It's overnight for me, and goodbye.